How you doing guys? My name is Tom Shepard. I just literally just wanted to run through a quick demonstration uh, of basically what uh, what you'll be receiving in your box tomorrow. I would like to add that it is literally quarter to two in the morning and that uh, me and Mikey have literally just finished uh, boxing and portioning everything. Uh, yeah, it took a bit more time than what we expected. So if uh, yeah, I fall asleep half over this, I do apologize. Uh, but listen, uh, basically you will have obviously three courses, um, excluding bread, so bread is your first course. You'll get these in the nice paper bags here. Uh, first thing you want to do when you obviously want to choose to sit down and eat, uh, make sure you heat those food for five minutes at 180 degrees. Really simple, greaseproof uh, grease paper or obviously a greaseproof tray. Straight in the oven, 185 minutes. And you can even do that about 10, 15 minutes before you're going to sit down and just allow that bread to sort of soften and, and obviously get really nice. Uh, your first course, after that, or just before I do go on, Obviously, you might like butter. As soon as your box comes, just keep that at room temperature because that will set up obviously really firm if it's anywhere cold. So keep that at room temperature, really, really important. So your first course is a chicken terrine. So this is cold. Uh, obviously, this will be served in a small little takeaway container. Um, it is super delicate because we've obviously got the asparagus, the morels, and the chicken. The chicken's super juicy. Uh, so please just be very delicate with that and be very careful. Uh, we have got some greaseproof paper that we've attached to that. If I was you, I would sort of just transfer that onto the onto the plate and then very, very gently just sort of almost slide it onto your plate uh, just so you've um, got a nice sort of shape still to that there. Uh, with that, you obviously have your um, prune ketchup, which is nice and acidic. Give, it, give everything a little try before obviously you put it onto your plate so you sort of know uh, the quantities that you'd obviously like to put on there. So I just put literally like a little, it's quite thick, so it's like a little, little depth dollop of that on the side. And then you also have a uh, little bit of watercress as well, for, um, a nice bit of freshness. Again, you can actually dress this in some, uh, in some nice extra virgin olive oil if you have it. Maybe it's a little bit of uh, sea salt. And that is that, that simple. So basically you've got your malt loaf, which you'll either have one individual or you'll have one to tear and share. And literally just tear that open. A little tip that I put on the, on the instructions is if you want to have a little bit of luxury, just put a nice little bit of butter on there. And then you just have a nice little bit of, uh, of chicken with the asparagus. Make sure you get a ketchup on there for a bit of acidity and the water for some freshness. And I hope you enjoy your first course. Okay guys, so hopefully you've enjoyed your tarine. So your main course, uh, this is a quick video. So if you just come down onto the screen here, you will get a, obviously this will be a pot for two, but it's currently for a pot for one. So you get a pot for two of your peas uh, with your bacon and shallots, your fonts, eh? and then also you have with your watercress for your terrine, you also have some uh, gem lettuce that we very roughly sort of chopped because it will wilt very much uh, once the heat up is, it gets to it. <clears throat> and then we've got a little tub of uh, pea puree, pea and mint puree. We have a tub of uh, lamb sauce. And then we also obviously have your beautiful rolled lamb shoulder and your terrine, uh, which is a boulanger potato with your confit onions. Uh, again, like a little tip that I actually said down to the uh, on the paper was basically on the instruction sorry was basically just take a tiny little bit of your sauce and then pop it on top of your uh, of your shoulder your shoulders and then take a little piece of uh, butter and pop that on top of your terrine and again i'll put grease proof underneath the terrine and i would also i would also put grease proof underneath the lamb if i didn't have a um a non-stick tray and again just put that to reheat in the oven no cover it's absolutely fine put it in the heat in, in the oven at 180 degrees for um, yeah literally up to 12 to 15 minutes depending on uh, sort of the, the quality of your oven really because it was too hot to dry out so just keep your eye on that i'm just going to quickly show you how to cook the peas uh, just to reheat them with the puree and sauce uh, it's pretty self-explanatory Obviously, uh, with the sauce itself, just make sure it goes into a, into a pan. I haven't over-reduced it, so it can sort of boil, and obviously it's a meat sauce, so you do want to boil it. Uh, for the pea puree, simply just put that in the microwave. It should be absolutely fine that, in that container, uh, so obviously pop that in there just so it gets nice and warm as well. You may need to be let down with a little bit of water or stock if you have it, uh, just in case it's a little bit too thick, obviously because it has set in the, in the fridge. So my uh, pan is on for the peas, so a little, little touch of oil. They say like a tiny little touch and a little knob of butter if you have it. It's just to stop the butter from completely burning. So we just want to sort of bring that to a nice little burn wise end. As that's melting down, the peas they've already been uh, the peas and bacon have already been cooked anyway. Just want to add that into the into the mix there. And that'll take seconds seconds to cook. Not too high heat. It's a nice little 
nice little heat through. It's all you want to do. We've only seasoned the uh, the bacon and the shallot mix, so again, I would add just a tiny little bit of salt at this stage. I love pepper with uh, peas as well, so I'd always add a little bit of salt and pepper. Mix that together. As soon as you're happy with the amount of heat that's got into those peas, then you can start to add your gem lettuce. Add that in, and that would very, very gently start to wilt down. You still want that freshness to sort of disappear, really, but not obviously kill it completely. You still want that texture of that um, of that lettuce in there. Beautiful, vibrant colours, actually. Okay, so my lamb has been in the oven uh, for for about I think, 12 minutes on mine. Obviously, be very careful because it is nice and soft. Uh, beautiful and soft and exactly the same with the potato terrine please be careful because it will be soft it is potato so it starts to obviously because, it's, because of the layers it will split or will separate so just be careful with that as well and I like to keep all my main courses quite tight uh, I like to play everything quite tight but again guys it's, it's the joy of this box you can do whatever the hell you want don't you? Uh, with the puree as well uh, literally I've said to you just let it down if it needs to you can do a fancy swipe you can put it into a box and do some dots if you want to I'm just going to do a nice little blob of it there uh, but again, you can add as much or as little as you want, taste things before you taste. And then the, the gem lettuce that, or the fricassee that you obviously you saw me earlier, the peas and the foie that you saw me earlier, I've literally obviously completely wilted the gem lettuce down there. And uh, I'm literally just going to pour that sort of almost all over uh, the dish actually, so you almost get that sort of intense flavour with the whole entire dish. Sort of over. And then finish that off with a nice little bit of lamb sauce. Uh, just over to the lamb, actually really, really sort of smother that lamb in that sauce, it's really rich and just indulgent. It'd be like when you get that sort of lamb, um, lamb sort of hot pot sort of flavour, get all that into there with the potatoes and the puree. So yeah, come and have a little look at what plate is mine. Again, I want to see your guys tag it all in. Let's have a look at all your plate yours. Okay guys, so lamb done. So it's terrine done, lamb done, now on to your dessert. There's just a little bit of a uh, sort of plate of your own this one for you. So, We've got a beautiful shoe bun here uh, with a uh, with a crackling, the chocolate cracking over the top, so that's how you sweetness on the top as well. I've also supplied you with uh, the creme diplomat in the back, so you can literally do however you want. I'm going to show you how I would do it. You have some raspberries, uh, I would halve the raspberries, you have three raspberries, so you sort of want to halve those because they are quite tart. Uh, you don't obviously want too much, you just have a really rich indulgent dessert. I always, always like to end up with half a indulgent one. So same, with your uh, creme diplomat, just very carefully. Cut the little uh, end off with your little bowl, bowl or plate. Just put a tiny little bit in the bottom. And it's totally up to you what you want to do with your uh, uh, with your shoe. But I actually like to halve mine with a knife, very very carefully. I put the one half into the uh, into the bowl, and then around the outside, when it comes a bit closer, around the outside of the uh, of the shoe, just very very gently apply some of that diplomat. Then in the middle. Pop your, your three half of raspberries and then on top pop your lid back on so you obviously got that it's obviously really aerated and then you come with a little it comes with a little or well, quite a bit actually of chocolate sauce obviously one pop between two people you can either heat that up in the microwave which is fine it won't get too hot so I think the microwave is perfect but it is quite thick so again if you would like to eat it on the stove you're more than welcome if it is a bit too thick for you just have a little bit of cream or a little bit of milk there to let it down and personally, I'm not going to do it with this particular one, but personally, I would literally open it up and just pour it all over the top. Nice warm hot sauce, nice cool freshness in the middle, and just absolutely enjoy. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you all for your support. Uh, it's been absolutely blown over actually by all the support. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, hope you enjoy. Tag me in as many photos as you can, and uh, we'll be back next week, next Friday, uh, for another delivery of a completely different menu. And um, and yeah. Keep supporting guys, thank you very much.